Boom. We are live. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Absolutely awesome to see all the faces here. And like I say, pro traders, if you've got something on your charts, get it cleaned up, get it ready, get your microphone ready, get your headphones, because it would be awesome to have some screen shares. We haven't done that in a while. All right, so let me pin this. Awesome. Let's get straight into it. We've got a huge show today. Uh, there's a lot I want to get through. So you can see that right now I have the weekly chart open on Bitcoin US dollar because I do feel like right now actually this chart is giving us all the info that we need. And a lot of the time I think most of us do sleep on this chart. Uh, we don't go out, we don't zoom out enough. I mean, who's even looking at the monthly chart right now? You know, we're so focused on the 15 minute, we're so focused on even the one hour and the four hour. And yeah, what's happening on the weekly, as we can see, is very clear and at the moment bearish. Uh, we can see that the next major level is extremely uh, clear on the horizontal lines. I would say, sure, right there. I mean, we see a double candle body on the weekly here. We see a double candle body on the weekly here. We also see the top of weeks, uh, wicks, weekly wicks. We also see a lot of volatility coming off this trend line that we're now being rejected from. So basically, I would put the next horizontal support right there. And if we break that, uh, more bearishness straight down. Let's just make that white for now. So yeah, I would say on the weekly quite clear where the move is happening, boom, boom, and down to this level. And then it's a kind of make or break level. And we can see that the bottom of this channel uh, is sitting there quite pretty from this level on the weekly, which is very significant. Yeah, this is a heavy, heavy trend line that I have on this weekly time frame, And I do see it as being our next major significant level of support. Uh, since you know our 16,500 drop, 15,000 drop, so we can very clearly see support here. If we go further down, support here. This is the major level. There is also a cluster on my chart right here, um, and yeah, as we've seen before, when we see a major trend line intersecting with a major horizontal line, we can see basically a magnet, which can give us a little bit of a volatile bounce. So anything happening here, then reaching this point, having a bounce and yeah, maybe the bulls can try to retest this line again from the bottom. And maybe that will be the line that actually sends us down. I would love to hear what the community thinks. I know Miguel, it seems like you've been spending or Mr. Bitman's seems like you've been spending a lot of time on the charts. I uh, love to see that. Uh, what we can also see here is obviously, yes, the 200, or let me see, is this the 50? The 200. So my EMAs are the 5, the 50, the 100, the 200, and then the 500. And right now, if we just look at the 200 EMA, we had major volatility coming down to it on the weekly time frame. We bounced up into this liquidity zone, which just sent us, <laughs> it was death, straight down past this weekly 200 EMA. Now this is the line that held us up. This is when we came below it, which is where we tested it as resistance. And now again, tested the same line as resistance. And look at that, a cluster with the 200 weekly EMA and this trend line. Yes, so we could be sent a uh, little bit downwards from here. And then this, I would say, is the major line to stay bullish because as you know, we need to keep a structure of higher highs, you know, somewhere along the line. So actually on the weekly time frame, you can see that this trend line is coming from, sure, crazy, crazy low numbers. So I can't wait to see what happens at that level because there will be volatility if we reach it, as we see here. Uh, we can't even get this kind of scenario where we slip down to it and then shoot up from it. So yeah, be aware of that. And let me go into the chat. Let me see what people are thinking. Remember to keep your alts in mind. I've got a lot of alts I would like to look at. And let me know in the chat if anyone is keen to share their screens. I see Connor, you have your hand up. Of course, you are allowed to speak. I have given you the mic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm honored. And I think oh, that, that, that your beard game is so on point. I think I need oh. a, a razor recommendation for you. 
<laughs> I actually so, just trimmed it, so thank thank you for that. I appreciate well, it. Very nicely done. Um, so what? So what I want to ask? I think I asked it last time, but uh, it was too late, and you didn't know time. I'd be very interested in seeing your um, analysis of uh, Apex. Okay. Awesome. Let's do it. We don't have to do it right now. <laughs> can do it right now. We've got you here. We've got your mic on. So, what is the pair? What is the pair? Ah, uh, but it's a bit of a spot pair, right? So it's not. Um, it's just, are you on trading views? Are you on trading views? And what's the what's the the actual ticker pair? A P. A P E X. Okay, so let's see here. But I don't think we're gonna find it here. I think you'll have to go to buy it to find it. That's the only thing. On to buy it. Yeah, but because it's a spot pair still, it's not. Uh, it's not available on the yet. All right, let's have a look. So, That's so crazy. Like, so, Trading view doesn't have it. That is that is crazy. So, okay. it's, it's a it's a problem with like a lot of spot pairs that we have, right? Um, so like you're you're probably aware like that we've integrated this uh, Dex like Apex uh, Pro. Um, I have tried it out. It's very very cool. I, I can really see that a lot of work has gone into the platform, and really yeah, it's a lot like Bybit, which I absolutely love. Yes, me too. No, like there's like there's definitely research to be done on um, on tokenomics, etc. But I'd just be interested just to see your um, point of view in the chart, and also if you're aware of their trade to earn event, okay? Because they have a, they, they have a trade to earn event, and you earn a, a, a reward token called Bana. Which you can you can um, yes, swap it. yes you can swap it for USCC or you can hold it right or you can burn it right and when you burn it you increase the redeem rate of Bana to Apex. Interesting. And this, this, and this goes on for fifty two weeks. Okay. And I'm just okay. Saying, so for the newbies who are on the chat, basically what we're talking about is a decentralized exchange. So an exchange that does put a little bit more effort in in your hands and responsibility you know with certain keys etc but it does allow you certain perks um as you know one of the main ones being no kyc and this is this is so this is the apex index i'm guessing so there must be a different chart for the banner uh token that banner has a chart that's like if you go to apex through by the through our web mm -hmm. uh, channel so this, so this is the other thing is that like while it is a dex um, it's also integrated on Bybit, so you can also use your funding account or spot account um, if you want, uh, right? Rather than using the strict Dex, and you can still have the same uh, kind of experience. So for new users, actually, who have no experience with Dex, I find this very interesting. Okay, that is actually amazing because I just sent money there. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. So, so you you can put USDC. You can put a uh, banner into a pool or you burn it or whatever. But like basically you earn banner by trading or providing liquidity. And like, it's like the whole, it's the 15th epoch now. There'll be 52 epochs. And each, like as more banner is burned, like the redeem rate gets higher. So like, I'm just thinking that like, I th I personally think like this is a huge opportunity. That like a lot of people don't realize, right? That like mm -hmm. that like if that banner like continues to be burned and the the projection that they have for it, what is it going to be worth at the end of like sorry, what is Apex is worth it worth in the fifty two weeks? And like okay, you, you were just earning by like providing liquidity, you know? And it's uh, a very interesting mechanism, I must say. It's it's one it's one of the most interesting trade to earn um, events I've seen. That's why I wanted to bring it up with you. But mm -hmm. um, but, but basically, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just wanted, wanted you to have a quick look at the chart. To see, this is awesome. Yeah, this chart is amazing. I haven't been charting this at all. Um, so basically, this is a token we can now buy and trade on spot. It's not on derivatives yet, but. 
this is we can trade this on spot so i mean this chart is absolutely awesome you can see major volume here i don't know what happened there um maybe that was some kind of an anomaly but here also major volume uh don't worry about volume right now but we can see a very very clear trading range between these two huge wicks on the daily so the larger zoomed out trading range on the daily is 63 cents all the way down to 23 cents so it is a big range and then we see a tighter range of course in between from 49 cents uh, down to 29 cents so the bottom 23 cents and we can see the actual liquidity zone the buy zone is lower down uh, if you are looking to buy amounts you know obviously be patient if Bitcoin goes lower down of course uh, there will be entries into the liquidity zone here which will give you better opportunities I mean look at that kind of a move um, and sure if you're looking to actually trade this uh, I know it is on only on spot right now but with this kind of a coin this kind of a volatility you can even trade these kinds of moves on spot uh, you know if you do that if you made this trade on a thousand dollars then you would make three hundred dollars so not bad and basically this trend line you're going to watch for a break of trend and don't enter uh, you know until that break of trend because you don't want to enter now here for a long and then this trend pulls you all the way down all the way down if this trend breaks it's gonna be very nice uh, maybe not all the way up but we have seen this playing out time and time again in so many of the alts and it must coincide with Bitcoin um, yeah so that's quite a nice chart I think we will leave it at the daily for now since it is only on the spot uh, for the moment but sure so that banner event sounds really really cool and I'll go do my I'll research do my on research. that yeah yeah and I, I just want I don't want to take up any more of your time but I just wanted to mention as well that like you could uh, so say for example this uh, trend breaks and the price of Apex goes down okay like another way to earn banner is by uh, staking Apex, or you can uh, you can earn like um, various like governance tokens. But like basically, it all I think it all counts towards the trade to earn a bit. And I think that like wow, wow. I, I I really think that like I'm telling a lot of people about this, but I think not many people know actually how much potential this event has. So I just wanted mm -hmm. to like hop on and like point it out and just like get the word out a little bit uh so thank you very much for your time and I thank like, you I, connor I, yeah for those I, of you who don't know connor is one of the masterminds behind our entire bybit global community he's one of those community builders who seem to never sleep and make magic so everybody yeah, give him thanks and please drop those links uh to the banner event in the group now if you can yeah 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 thank you very much for your time and I, i'm gonna stay and listen to the rest i i always do when i can and i'll leave it oh I leave awesome it, i leave it to the trading experts because you're a much better trader than me so please continue <laughs> <laughs> awesome much appreciated connor yeah i wasn't aware of, of the all those benefits you know i'm crazy about staking so i'm definitely going to check out uh, the banner staking and I, I was thinking about that trade to earn mechanism and it actually reminded me of you know kind of a staking mechanism um, and when I look for tokenomics in a coin I always do look for things like burning uh, you know things that will rapidly increase the value of the token so I'm gonna go deep into tokenomics there and yeah I'll, I'll get back to the community maybe even in the Sunday educational session we'll go through the banner tokenomics and we'll suss them out okay so I think it's time to go into the chat uh, and then into some lower time frames on Bitcoin before we do our altcoins we're doing very well for time thank you everybody for hopping on Wow awesome who's here sure Sean Miguel crypto cloud young Jidera, cupcake costly Chara. sure to me to mention Jess Ike Eman all right so let's quickly hop down the time frames on bitcoin uh, let's skip to a different chart if we look at this chart uh, give me a second on the daily uh, we can see our fibonacci that we've been following for quite some time still giving us our major levels of boosts and rejections and 
yeah, very clear to see what's happening. You have to try get rid of the noise in your head. I know this is a noisy chart, but let me draw it out for you. We came up, we got rejected, we came up further, we got rejected, we came down, we came up, we got rejected, and now we're here. Sometimes it's nice to try and get the line, just the line in your head. But basically on the daily time frame, a little bit difficult right now to read and this is where your price action candle reading comes in so learn to read your candles I mean look at this look at this beautiful candle and then schwep and yeah same thing there schwep all right so right now we can see that daily is definitely being rejected from the 3.618 Fibonacci level there is a sneaky 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 feeling in my gut that maybe there might be a return up to this 4.236 uh, liquidity for a double top in some way. It might not be just like this, but always keep in mind that for every scenario you have in your mind, there is also the opposite scenario. And yeah, if you're not making money going the, the way you thought it was going to go, there are probably people who predicted going the other way uh, who got it right. And of course, you can always hedge. You can always say, oh, maybe Bitcoin can have a push up to here and then a boost up to here uh, but it's not as likely and you can maybe enter more into this kind of a position but daily time frame very very clear to see next major line I do usually take it out so that we just have the Fibonacci's but we can see that there's a very strong line kind of just below us at 22,900 around there so likely to get a little bit of support here but it's not a Fibonacci level. Uh, we can see that it has given us major resistance, broken through to support. Again, resistance, and then this was just like butter straight through that level. I do see it holding us up. So right now, in essence, uh, for our scalps on you know the lower time frames on altcoins, we are looking at a little bit of bearishness on Bitcoin, probably you know, down to this 22,900 level. Right now we're at 23,397. And then it's smooth sailing downwards from there. If we do reach the next proper Fibonacci level at 2.618, we can then see our 200 daily moving average, which is extremely significant. We managed to break through it over here. Let me bring it up. On our way up, we managed to, I mean, it was a fight on the daily. We can see a couple of daily candles. We had to fight through this 200 day moving average, but we broke it because the bulls were just coming all the way up since the first of the year just coming up coming up and we came back down to test it and it sent us it sent us back up again so it is the elastic band that's pulling us closer towards it until we cross it and yes if we do cross it it would be a very very bearish signal so be aware of that and of course you can also for the cross uh, bring up your 50 or you know any tighter EMA so here we can bring up the 50 EMA and see where the cross would be and very interesting so the 50 over the 200 crossed there and we can actually see look at this you know from that price wow but it could be a little bit of a fakey cross because look the price was already there when it crossed if this just turns around now and crosses to the downside it's almost like a fakey cross because it was coming all the way up coming all the way up to cross which should be very bullish but if it just decides oops uh, to cross to the downside very very bearish I'm sure you can see okay so uh, before we go into sharing any screens let's go a little bit closer in and see what's happening here Try and move down your chart slowly so you have an understanding of, you know, the fractalized nature of the price. You know, don't confuse yourself. I would suggest starting on the monthly, going to the weekly, going to the four hour, going to the daily, all of that. All right. Well, daily, four hour. Now we're at the four hour. We can see that the EMAs are actually really nice. So I'll leave those up for now. Um, what's very interesting. Oh, one thing I forgot to show you that was crazy. So on this weekly chart, let's just quickly go back. Don't let, let me confuse you. This is the weekly chart. And we put this level in here. Look at this. So if you pull up the volume profile on the weekly. Amazing. 
it's literally at this level with all of these candle bodies so yeah that for me right now on the weekly is the magnet and you know if you're thinking of opening trades even if they're scalps you you know you might want to take your profits off the table of the scalp and then you want to be able to leave those trades open and i know bitman does this he has a 500 percent trade open now on bitcoin that he's just cashing in on at each take profit and that is literally how it's done and i would imagine that he would take a major take profit there but i do know he actually has sixteen thousand this bottom liquidity level in his mind so yeah we'll bring him on just now if he's in not in the office or if he's in a zone where he can actually stream for us but yeah we can see how my ta will actually coincide with that if the poc pulls us down towards it here on the weekly and you know sometimes well most times we go through the poc like if we look here through the poc and then around through the poc and then around i would say for me it's looking like that kind of a level so we're on similar pages bitman <laughs> Uh, all right, so let me go into the chat. Let me know what you guys are feeling. Should we go into the altcoins? Uh, should we bring on a guest to show us Bitcoin? And then should we go into the altcoins? Or should I do some else? You know what? Let's look at the S&P 500. I'm sure Migs will also do S&P 500. But very, very important chart to be looking at right now. You can see we are at the POC for the volume profile. And basically on the daily, just like I was saying, this is quite... A deadly area uh, for this for this S&P index which is you know these are the tech stocks we can see that we have started a bit of a bearish trend from here and yeah this could easily continue much lower as we can see from this chart and yeah a lot of Bitcoin price is driven by these kinds of tech market stock prices so be aware of this S&P 500 uh, there is yeah, a little bit of an alarm because, I mean, we broke down now on the daily, on this candle, through this major level. And if we go into a closer time frame, we will see yeah, just how important these levels are. So we could get a little retest here, but basically now we are below this level and we can see that this level is a bit of a slide down. And if we move further on, yeah, maybe a little bit of support, but could be something that sends us down. So just be careful there. After I check the S&P, I usually go to the Dixie, which is the US dollar currency index. The US dollar against a basket of other currencies. Sure. And we can see that it is currently fighting, fighting that 200 MA on the daily. And what I'll do quickly just to whet our appetite when it comes to the alts before we bring on a guest, uh, something you know that I've been finding quite helpful and I think probably yeah a lot of you have been using it too so if you bring up the EMAs and we actually just take our just the 50 and the 200 are extremely extremely important and you can decide which one you want to look at but sometimes it's helpful to just have one of them so if we take off the 50 again and we just look at the 200 EMA it's so important here on the US dollar currency index. And then I'll show you now on every single altcoin, every single altcoin, it can basically give you your break of trend for very, very nice trades. And yeah, I've been back testing trades on that and it's been absolutely smashing it. And here we can clearly see how, yeah, we're coming up for another retest of this EMA. And right now, right now, actually, and yeah, we'll leave it on the daily right now for the S&P because it is, as we can see, it's quite a trend following chart. It finds trends and it follows them. But basically that's the move uh, we're looking for there now on the Dixie. And we can actually see how this, the dollar is just very, very strong right now. There is resistance here, but there is definitely, uh, we can see this is the second time it's coming up to the resistance. So there is of course the possibility that we'll break this 200 ma on the daily which will be very bullish very very bullish for the dollar the dollar has been just cruising i mean for those of you with smaller local currencies third world countries etc you know that the dollar is currently absolutely kicking butt and this could continue 
But basically, the reason we're charting this chart is that if we get a rejection of the dollar, if the dollar starts flowing into other assets, for some reason, Bitcoin is going to show us bullishness and there is a move here. If we get a rejection here, we can see, look, boom, boom, boom. That's a clear trading range. It's a clear move. And yeah, that would actually be bullish. Uh, so Megs, let me know what you're thinking. Do you think the Dixie is going to just pump from here? Uh, yeah, let me actually go into the chat. Let's just quickly check the total three. So this is the market cap of all of the altcoins. And we can see how the altcoins are taking a little bit of a beating right now, today. But they're fighting. And like I said, this 200 EMA is just so important. It's giving us all the info we need. So right now you can actually take the other one off. And just look at this 200 and we'll quickly flip through some else. But basically total three right now sitting right here. Look at that sitting on this 200 MA on the daily. So it's make or break for altcoins right now on this chart. Uh, it could be a send in either direction. And we can see here is the 500 EMA very light sitting there. And that is your actual major trend indicating EMA. I'll show you why. Basically, when you're below this 500, you're confirmed bear trend. When you're above that 500, you are confirmed bull trend. Very important. I hope everyone's following. So that's why I keep my 500 just very light in the background so I can see where the trend is pulling us. Eventually, we will break that 500 again. Um, but yeah, this can send us down. So be careful. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stay on the daily and we're going to keep just the 200 MA and we're going to skip through some altcoins. So yeah, there's lots that I want to do. Uh, almost too many. So let's just do these favorites quickly. ADA, short trade, absolutely killing it. 111% profit. I have not closed. A little bit cheeky, but I'm going to keep that one open. I told you 33 cents would be my first take profit. We're now sitting at 34 cents. I'm not even going to take profit at 33 cents. I told you I could see a 26 cents for Cardano. And yeah, the trade played out perfectly. And all I did was look at that rejection on this MA and I entered it. Uh, it was that easy. Uh, you've seen my trade, 100% in profit. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, I'm not going to do live trading now, but the Discord is happening tomorrow so it's streamed live on youtube on the bybit official channel and any trade setups that you drop on the discord i'll actually go in and i'll open and we'll go through them so everybody be sure to be there it's on the bybit official channel check out the bybit official twitter and of course check out the rewards there are so many rewards that you get just for joining and engaging and we're actually live trading tomorrow and monday so yeah exciting stuff all right i quickly hopped to the 15 minutes here on ada and it's the same thing here on the 15 minute major trend we got rejected at it trend is still bearish and yeah i'm monitoring this trade quite heavily even though i don't even have a take profit right now it's just a fun trade um but it is a classic example i'll go back to the daily classic example of how this 200 daily moving average is just a beautiful beautiful indicator and we can see ADA is just continuously dumping okay so if we skip to Matic we see a totally different story absolutely different story and we can see how it's such a beautiful indicator Matic came up well, tested it here didn't break through came up tested it here and smash through and like I say look at that confirmation of an entry of a trade I know it's quite messy but it's a 74 percent on spot so 200 day moving average we are actually coming right back towards it now on Matic we can see we are testing my level getting rejected I would say definitely coming to test this if we break below it it will be this liquidity zone atom all right so i think some of you saw uh when i switched screens i did open an atom trade uh which i'm currently in and we can see why why i opened the trade because i'm literally trading the break of this 200 day moving average 
so we'll track that trade live in the discord um i set to take profit much lower down but basically we can see where the liquidity levels are one by one and again it's just a fun trade but basically the main reason was just proper rejection from this trend line and yes my my stop is very tight because you know there's not much confluence there is room to go down on the daily another reason i did open but not the ideal entry let me show you what the one hour looks like So this line here, you can see is very significant and not only here on the one hour, it goes all the way back. So I've chosen this line for a very specific reason. And basically I entered with low margin. It's going my way very, very nicely, but I entered with low margin so that I could top up my trade, add to my trade all the way up back to this line and down. And my stop is right here. So I hope everybody's following. This is a trade that will probably play out in some way or another um, over the next 24 hours into the Discord. Uh, we can see that we actually got on the one hour quite a nice retest of my entry that sent us down. So we are working with a level that is giving us the right kind of reactions and we'll watch it play out. There is a little lightning bolt. So of course, be aware, aware here that there is actually some bullish information coming out here. Um, well, firstly, some some movement, so things might go wrong. Uh, so keep your eye on the charts and then also some bullish information. Stakers have one more income stream on Atom. All right, so let's continue with what we were doing because it's absolutely awesome. We were on the one day time frame and we just have our 200 day moving average and let's look at Solana again all you need and it coincided with our liquidity zone just came up to tip it tip it tip it and we're on our way down being sent can see the next major liquidity zones all the way down here I don't know if we'll see it but definite line here for Solana and yeah this is why <laughs> this moving average is so cool so I think maybe um, I'll focus on moving averages in the discord tomorrow or Fibonacci or let me know what what you'd like to focus on I see lots of stuff coming in the chat pinnacle awesome analysis wow butterfly very nice love it well done yeah it's a scary chart but it's also awesome because a move down to that 17,000 liquidity zone yeah it would be a great opportunity if you're positioned right Bullish shocked. Oh, you call it a shark. Okay, some of us call it a, a butterfly. Very, very nice. All right, Gibson. YGG seems bullish from the support zone. Very nice. Let me note that down. I've been hearing that around YGG. Oh, I think I saw it on the screeners. All right, Migs is just listening. No stress, brother. Soon, soon, soon. I've seen you've been dropping the maddest charts. It's so awesome. Okay, BNX. Yeah, so what happens at BNX? It just completely, absolutely got annihilated all right scrolling through scrolling through for fairy I hope you came right being able to join yeah I think it is your network okay gold possible idea for those who trade the CFDs on gold Wow okay so hopefully in the future we'll be able to trade that on Bybit Drav I've been loving your analysis it's absolutely awesome uh, that Gala trade, I wanted it to take a bit longer to play out. I think it did play out. We'll look at that just now also. Let me know anyone else if you would like to share your, your charts live, if you have the setup. Oh no, Melody, all right. Pinnacle, let me quickly um, sort that out. Give me one second to help Melody who got muted by mistake. I can do it quite quickly. Oh, I'm not seeing her username is being restricted. All right. Um, but I'll do it after the chat. Just apologize uh, to her for me, but I will. I'll sort it out after the chat. All right. I'm just scrolling through the chat. Gibson ENJ engine engine could be a coin to watch look at that there's a trend could be a break of trend okay i'm just scrolling through the chat let's see 
Let me know what do you guys feel like looking at. Are there any? Hey, you're here. Black is gold. Okay, so I thought so. All right, so you're in. Perfect. Well done, Melody. Emmons. BTC will go bullish after touching 23.3. Okay, so let us know. Oh, it's your Ichimoku. Very nice, Emmons. Or is it Fibonacci? It looks like a combination. Okay, Drive OP has been forming a triangle formation that looks very juicy. I like trading OP. We'll look at that shortly. AJ Styles. Where's AJ? I don't think he's online. Okay. Just in Dubai Economic Free Zone to invest an extra five million into becoming a global Bitcoin and crypto hub. Awesome for adoption, Drav. Thanks for sharing. Okay, so maybe that's actually a good idea. Thanks for reminding me. Let's see what's happening. Arbitrum Dex, I'll be swap rug pulls. Oh my word. Not great to hear. Okay, so let's see. All news. Avalanche declines. Will the bottom go below 15%? So Avalanche is being rejected from this 200 daily moving average. It is also being rejected. You can see when there's a cluster of a trend line and you know, this is just confluence on confluence. Look here. So it's the RSI resistance. It's a trend line resistance and it's 200 day moving average resistance, sending it down. So yes, in my opinion, Avalanche could go lower. You can see where my major level is. It's this trend line here. That could actually be a nice trade, but it feels like we did kind of miss it. Basically, what we're scoping here on the RSI for new trades is this level here for the newbies. We're looking for this level so that we can catch these kinds of trades. I mean, look at this divergence. We would have entered very low margin here, and then we would have added, added, added at this rejection. Yeah, we might have even taken profits there and added again here. And... There is a divergence kind of playing out. So let me know on Solana what you think. Oh, sorry. This is Avalanche, Avalanche, Avalanche. Let me know. Uh, down to $13 maybe from 17 That's quite a move that the TA is giving us. Uh, we can see there is little bits of support along the way. Yes, that looks like a nice level. And... Yeah, because Avalanche is one of the main contenders, you know, is like a kind of Ethereum killer, perhaps um, a main ecosystem. These are even big moves in terms of scalps. But uh, let's just measure this down. Yeah. All right. So Polygon launches decentralized ID. Very, very cool. So keep an eye on Polygon, Matic. Open AI revealed chat GPT API. Very nice. Okay. China CBD CBDC initiative gets cold reception from Hong Kong visitors. All right. Let me know if you have any interesting Terzo warns users of new phishing attack. All right, let's quickly have a look at this calendar. We can see today in 20 minutes, well, in 50 minutes in the US, we have a whole lot of stuff happening all the way through to 11 p.m. tonight, um, UTC plus two. But there is stuff happening. So uh, that's the reason I wanted to have the stream now, get the tea out of the way. We can see some forecasts. Um, you know, this is all pretty complex stuff, but basically these are all different things which are forecast at different levels and which will come out at different levels and yeah this four week bull auction eight week six week i have seen these have effects on the charts they're not forecasted yet but like i say it's nice to be aware of what's happening especially if you're going into a trading session all right so as i say i'll taking a little bit of a beating on the daily on the weekly, we do still have Ajax up 22%, Hex up 24%, CFX has taken the beating. It did have a big pump. Uh, there's our engine, 16% down, HBAR. I have been some uh, seen some people scouting HBAR for a possible breakout long. 
I think it might take a little bit longer. I would like to look at Vet. Near. There might be opportunities here. Uh, mostly it looks like if we find something that's still pumping here like Ajax and Hex and we manage to short it, we might be able to catch a Bitcoin dump um, you know, on one of these coins that's actually outperforming and pumping now. So let's quickly check out Ajax. We can see that the bull flag is not really playing out. So instead of having a bull flag effect, we could very easily just have a double top here on Ajax if Bitcoin decides to come back down. And we can see very clearly where the next major trading range would be. And that would be, let's just measure it out. I'm not saying Ajax is going to dump from here. Um, but RSI, yep, it looks like it could come down on the daily. Let's just measure it. 53% down to the previous range. There is a huge wick there. So I think, yes, that would be a major take profit. I'm going to note that we could maybe enter a kind of tentative trade there for the Discord. All right, let's go to the monthly quickly for the bubbles and see what's happening. STX up 245%, Ajax up 192, Hex, Wemix, BGB, CFX, GRT, GMX. And there we see B chain a little bit up, LDO, also something I want to start charting and trading. IMX, Filecoin, DYDX. So, on the monthly, still bullish. On the daily, starting to look bearish. On the weekly, starting to look less bullish. So, you know, the bears might have something here. Or maybe the bull bears the very interchangeable people who are very aware of things and who are feeling bearish. They might have something here. Let's have a look at the year. Coins still struggling, struggling. Ajax is up 437% in the year. And GMX. And everything else is pretty much down. OP, amazing. Solana, everything down, down, down over the year. And it's nice to just be aware of this. Market cap, we can see... ADA. Very nice. Doge, XRP. So the size of these bubbles are basically how big these alts are. How much money is in each one of these coins. We can see, of course, BTC is our biggest. Then ETH. And here we can see USDC fighting against USDT. And sure, we can actually see what's happening. It's very, very nice. XRP has a huge market share here. And yeah, that's a coin that's quite a, quite a cowboy coin to trade. But quite a fun one. Okay, so let me go through the chat. Let me know what you all feel like doing. Remember, we do have Bybit Discord live trading coming up. So get involved. <laughs> if you haven't already, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so let me know in the chat, what are we looking at? I'm just skipping through quickly to see if there's anything interesting happening. Ooh, look at Doge. Okay, so well, we could be we could have a move down for Doge here. Uh, we could have a fakie outside of this triangle, and then actually a break of trend here for Doge. So be careful there, keep your stops tight. But there is a lot of room for movement always with this coin. This is a gnarly, uh, volatile coin. So trade with care. But we are looking like we are breaking to the downside of this triangle. Let's have a look at BTC dominance. Okay, so very much a middle ground, that 200 daily moving average. Basically a deciding factor for us now, right now. Oh, sorry, this is the, this is the CME. Where's my BTCD? Yes. Okay, so CME, any gaps? Oof, there. Still that gap at 20,000, and that does line up with some other TA. So on the CME futures, ah, we might come, we might come and reclaim that gap. And we can see here how that's also a clear rejection from the 200 day moving average. So yeah, very nice there. I did want to look at BTCD quickly. We're in this very clear channel to the upside. Here we can see that we are actually deciding our trend here on BTCD because that is the 500 extended moving average that I was talking about as the major a trend decider we can see here on BTCD, you know, we've been 
below that trend for a long time. And here we can see how it's so important. And very important to note when these two EMAs come together, the 200 and the 500, and they are coming together now for perhaps a break of trend eventually for BTCD to the upside. Could be interesting. Uh, I would love to hear the community's thoughts on this. And we do have some suggestions here on some alts. I would like to quickly look at Gala. I know there were some some CA setups dropped on, on Gala. Maybe I was a bit late. Oof, very late. <laughs> but well done, Drav. I mean, wait, was it this one? No, that's January. Where are we? Okay, so here it is. I'm not late. Here it is. There's still the trend. There's still the trend. So let's put the line there. Drav, let us know. Are you are you scoping this? What's happening? There's the line. And yeah, like I said, for Apex, watch the trend. And when this trend breaks, try and catch the long. Make sure you put your stop in place, but try and catch the long because these trends... They're just the best. Like when you see when you see this building up, this is just giving you an opportunity because all of these touches. Look how many daily touches. Boom, 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 boom. Eventually, it's going to be boom, 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 all the way up, and we can see where my level is. And yeah, that's the kind of trade we can see how it happened here. If we go back in time, the same thing played out. And just beware, it can keep happening until it breaks. So, like I said, don't enter. You know, before the actual break of trend. And even fake outs like this. I mean, that's still a trade. But be beware of the fake out of these lines. Um, but there it is. At the break of trend. I mean, this is crazy. This is like straight up. And if we measure that, the last time the trend properly broke to the upside on this coin, 244%. So we do here have the 200 day moving average above us, clustering up with a downward sloping trend line. But basically what might happen here, what possibly could happen here is that this whole section here is a bull flag. So if we draw it in, uh, this is kind of still just a, a tentative scenario for now, but basically it could be a bull flag here which could shoot this coin very high up. So Drav, let me know where where your take profits are on that long. We can see here that we would have to break through the 200 day moving average, which has already been tested. We have made such a mess here. Let me just take everything away. All right, so there we go. We have already come up to test our 200 day moving average. We've moved away from it. If we, this is also another reason why you know, we might break this trend to come back up to this 200 day and if we break that and retest that support it is absolute go time so yeah we'll look at entering a trade there for the discord let me see which comments i'm missing in the chat and let's have a vote on the final altcoins to go through uh, we have quite a few suggestions ygg bnx uh, enj ldo op so let me know what do you feel like. Also, I haven't uh, looked much at Ethereum. Yep, Ethereum snaking around doing its thing. Still a little bit bullish above the 200 day moving average. I do see Ethereum as being a very nice performer in the bull run. I'm not saying put your money into it now, but have a look what's happening here. The 200 day is pointing towards the 500. If there is a break there, it will be one of these breaks, one of these epic trend breaks. So yeah, that's what we're looking for in most of the coins, even Bitcoin. You know, this kind of a break on the 200 day moving average. Let's just see on Ethereum. 200 day moving average, the last bullish break that we had sent us literally, that is crazy from the break or from the cross 2000% so that's the kind of gain that we could be seeing at that kind of a break and just be aware look back in time 
and we're going to test that 500 we're going to test it and test it before we finally smash it so this could be the start this could be the start of that kind of testing 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 and until we do start testing it it's just bearish 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 and yeah like i said when you start to see a moving average literally pointing upwards as if there was an arrow on the end we're starting to point upwards towards this and yeah i would say we could even just see a major rejection and keep going and a major rejection until we finally break it to the upside um, I don't think it's time yet, but it could happen anytime. All right, let's do one last altcoin. Let me go into the chat. What's the best tra trading strategy for a beginner trader? Thank you, Chara. Oh, I would say learn to trade on spot. You know, buy low, sell high. Learn to use some indicators. Uh, I would start with RSI. And yeah, I'll take it very slow is my main advice. All right, Drive Ethereum. Oof. Drive's looking for an Ethereum breakout up to 1,843. And you can see, yeah, definitely a possibility. Very, very nice. Uh, I'm tempted. I really want to open an Ethereum futures bot. And I'm very tempted to open now because we can see this big big trading range for ethereum here which i do believe will eventually get broken and you know one interesting thing to look at that i did notice is here on the btc chart i know this is a bit messy it is my smaller time frame chart but if we look at so these horizontal uh, vertical lines represent the start and the close of each month and basically we can see here that right now we're slightly up from where we entered the month and you know if you held bitcoin this month like i did a certain amount of my bitcoin i just held and you know i'm slightly up on that bitcoin that i held you know if i bought bitcoin at the start of the month i did buy my bitcoin lower down but you know what i'm trying to say bitcoin has gone slightly up in the month we can even easily measure it on this chart that's why on at least one chart i do like to have my vertical lines so that i'm aware of time periods because time periods affect people mentally okay so like i say we've just come three percent up and yeah it's also helped our altcoins all the altcoins have come a little bit more up than that but basically having a bot is really helpful because three percent on bitcoin if i've held it for one month but my bot has caught all of these moves buying selling and you know what even in between buying selling buying selling buying selling buying selling and yeah it's done like 62 trades my bot on bitcoin has done 62 trades all in all profitable trades uh so yeah itching to open the ethereum futures bot and i see we are almost through our time sean don't be quiet brother if you want to talk talk to us i saw your video it was absolutely awesome today it totally informed my thinking too so thank you so much for that and everybody do go give sean a follow if you're not following him already on youtube he's absolutely brilliant all right Ika, let us know how you doing solid paul welcome willie whale sara chidera awesome crypto cloud Ika. don't be shy d cash unshul awesome awesome gibson okay so let me quickly scroll through which is our last altcoin is that Sean? Great stream, brother. Yeah. Sorry, man. I was clicking the wrong button. I wasn't coming on. <laughs> awesome, man. I, I, nice to I hear from you. I shared my chart. There's, there's a couple of key areas on the Bitcoin chart I'm looking at. But um, 22,700, big level. MPOC, very key level. If we go below that, <laughs> forget about 25K. Uh, but if we bounce off that, I'm looking for those lows to be taken out. Uh, so then pretty much this at, level that I've got here. Yeah, what you said well, you know, right there. And that uh, that if it if we if we bounce off that twenty two thousand seven hundred, um, I'll look to take it to twenty four thousand, maybe take profits in the middle, fifty percent or maybe seventy percent, and depending on the reaction at twenty four k, might look at a short. But <clears> if we retest that as support, twenty five k, and if I think this time if we break out at twenty five, we'll we'll shoot up lovely so then it'll be like boom boom yeah but trade the levels guys be safe 
Lovely to know. And the bearish scenario would, of course, be a break below this line. Yeah, boy. So if it, if it retests that 22,700 as resistance, level below, there's a little bit of support NPOC at 22,100. Next level is 21,700. And um, yeah, there's then at like 20K, because there's also that CME gap at 20K. So that's, that's yes. not been filled yet. So I'm, yes. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> oh, but, we're on the uh, same yeah, page. Not, it's awesome. Yeah. And below that, not much right, till 18,000. Okay. So there is the POC on the four hour also. So I see beautiful up at, yeah, 23,900. And then I think as soon as you go to the daily, the POC flips way down. Yeah. To 21,000. So what we could see is a move up on the four hour to the POC. <clears throat> Yep, and then even a move down. So I think, you know, yes, there's a straight bullish and bearish scenario there. But what I'm seeing in terms of the time frames and the volume profile, let me quickly draw it out. Could possibly be this kind of a move. Yeah, that's quite so there's possible, three different though. scenarios. Yeah, so you've got the info trade it as it comes you know keep your eye on the lower time frames if you see something drastic happening then you can start yeah to act of course as i said be aware 100 percent of this weekly time frame at the moment because yeah it's nice to just simplify things for yourself and there it is we have a cluster of the 200 weekly moving average and a retest of this trend line as resistance down to the poc at 21,200. This is larger time frame. There could be a lot in between here, but basically larger time frames really help you out. And yeah, I think that's been a great stream. I th I see I may have missed a few questions. I'll go through them after the chat. I see the whole crew is in the building, so thank you so much everybody for showing up. Please do join in the Bible Discord tomorrow. I'm actually going to drop uh, this tweet, this will be a nice tweet. If you help me uh, with a retweet and a like would be much appreciated. Let's get it out there. Let's get it going. Uh, the live Discord, to be honest, it's the coolest thing I've ever done, you know, in terms of all of the live streaming, streaming crypto community stuff. It is such a beautiful mechanism. We have the Discord where everyone can very easily drop their setups. We actually have multiple bonus campaigns happening we're live on the official Bybit youtube channel i mean yeah we can't go wrong so let's get it let's trade as a community remember options screenshots if you're trading options drop a screenshot of your options this week and i'll give you a bonus as part of our explore uh, campaign and then roi snapshots this weekend so all of those traders uh, who want to compete Friday, Saturday, Sunday, any snapshots, cumulative ROI, and we'll be giving bonuses. Uh, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to even out the bonuses. So it's actually going to be instead of 25, 15, 10, it's going to be 15, 15, 15. So even if you get third, you get the same as the guy who got first. And I think it'll make it a little bit more fair. So let's have fun. And I'll see you all in the group. Thank you so much for joining. Remember, always play from a position of power and strength use the stop loss and don't get wrecked see you all in the community have a wonderful day further goodbye